Good morning and welcome to the channel, The Vaping Piper. Um, this blend that I'm going to try today, I was waiting for it. Um, this blend is one of those small batches by Cornell and Deal that they've got, they, you know, bring it onto the website and it's only available for a very short um, uh, space of time. It's in two weeks, normally they are gone. So I had a good friend who was in the U.S. for a wedding, and I told him, "Can you give me a f uh, buy me a few uh, of a few blends that I knew that is impossible to get a hold of here in the U.K. or in Europe, for that matter?" Um, so one of them is this one, um, the Cornell and Deal small batch, and this is called Carolina Red Flake with Perique. So this is a classic vapor. Uh, Virginia Perique, and you can see the date is actually um, August 2023. Yeah. Now, uh, when it comes to the small batches, Jeremy Reeves, who is the head blender at uh, Corner and Deal, goes the, um, the, f the, f the full mile to create a, uh, a fairly complex blend, and they use the highest grade of leaf. So I will put all the information below about this. Uh, they apparently they grow it in a farm called Three One Farms, which is a single family owned farm in uh, Louisiana. So that comes the Perique from there. Now this Perique apparently is <coughs> is um, this um, variety of Perique they use in this blend is the rarest in the world. It says. And it's combined with um, several top tier flue cured grades, including heirloom red Virginia tips from 2013, age 10 years, uh, matured Georgian grown red orange leaf from 2019, and Canadian bright leaf from 2019, boasting an impressive sugar content of 28.5%. So, uh, so I should really get um, taste a nice sweet. Um, flavor with this. Together, this ex ex exquisite Virginia grade empower the kaleidoscope of com com uh, complementary flavors from baked goods and warming spices to brighter citrusy highlights, all elevated by 3 1 Farms Perique. So, and even tells you how much sugar content, for instance, in the Red Virginia from Georgia. The 2019 has got 17.7.2 sugar content, and uh, um, the Red Virginia from Virginia uh, crop 2013 has got 12% sugar, and the Lemon Brightly from uh, Canada has got 28.5, and the Perique has got no Perique hasn't got. It just says genuine Louisiana Perique um, crop year 2022. Now this would improve enormously um, when put away for a while, stored. Um, as he writes here, Carolina Red Flake with Perique is um, seller worthy with, sample, uh, with ample potential for aging. Anyway, it goes on. I'll leave all the information below. Um, so he bought me a few tins of this and I opened one and I put it in my jar. Yeah, now this comes um, sort of shredded flake, um, as you can see, and the color and the smell is gorgeous. Um, you can see it's like broken flake, rather than not shredded for the broken flake. Um, moisture level is perfect, perfect. When I took it out of the tin, and the smell. Where should I begin? It is a concerto of fruitiness, spiciness, um, breadiness. It is, well, very nice dried fruit, stone fruit, you know, apricots maybe. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous smell. Well, so what I've done is I shredded it further 
obviously, and I allowed it a bit to dry out. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm using the LCS Briar pipe, LCS Briars, um, and I'm using a filter because this is a nine mil. So yeah, so what we're gonna do is, um, I was quite looking forward for this moment. And I came especially early this morning to the office because I didn't have time to smoke any other time this week. Um, <coughs> yeah, looking very much forward for this one. So I'm just going to pack the pipe and taste it. See, the problem with these blends is that as soon as it's gone, it's very difficult to get hold of. Um, it's nearly impossible, except for people selling it afterwards privately, and normally it's years after, after it's matured a few years. So to get it sort of straight away, you need to pounce and buy it. If it was based in the UK, if I can get it in the UK, I'll get it straight away. But of course in the US, uh, customs are impossible these days. So the only time, I, the only way I can get it is if someone's there, and I was lucky uh, with a few blends that he bought me. Right, so. Um, let's light it up. Oh. Complex indeed. I can taste already a bit of that fruitiness. Spicy. Citrusy. Now, there's a few impossible for me to detect all those Virginias. But Oh, there is a deep fruitiness here, like, like, um, maybe like a wine, port wine. It's a deep fruitiness with spiciness, a bit peppery. blend you know sometimes you just fancy a, a smoke you know just a, a blend just to put in a nice blend a Virginia and a Burley let's say um, or something simple just to smoke uh, without giving too much thought now, this is not one of them this is the opposite of the spectrum this is one of those that you really want to smoke it when you're relaxed and you can concentrate on these delicious notes of the leaf. Now, with Virginian Perique, you need to really smoke it slow. And in my case as well, I've got a filter. So otherwise, it can burn hot. Now, you've got how much percent of 28% sugar level here? 28.55. This barrique that's in this blend is so rich, so deep, and complex. Beautiful. You get that spicy note, you get the peppery, um, you get this like sort of a dried fruit sweetness here, and with the high note of the Virginias, so giving you a bit of nutty. And, and a sort of like, nearly like, there's a, a very rich um, fruitiness here. 
it's not a fruity blend that's it see yeah it's not a fruity blend it's not aromatic this is a natural flavor of the leaf being used all those um virginias the red virginia the lemon uh, lemon the bright leaf all contribute towards that um citrusy fruity but the perique is what really rocks here it is such a i, I don't think i ever tasted such a delicious perique oh. and this is having this is it hadn't matured at all um i couldn't resist you know i don't like waiting for too long i want to try something but i did put away um two tins so could always try in a few years um to see if there's a major difference i'm sure it would and these come sealed in like sort of a um uh, you know one of those that you peel off vintage blend comes in all these layers I'm sure you've seen this before uh, comes in these layers and then you got it in there still got a bit of a smell mm. well This is a blend that you can, if you can get a hold of it, uh, if you got a hold of it by now, yeah, but if you didn't, you're going to have to wait till someone sells it privately, um, because this is one good vapor. And this pipe is, brings it out beautifully. Retro inhale. You get a blast of spicy, peppery, um, with that rich, complex f um, fruitiness to it. With, ah, lovely. So I said the wine is like, um, yeah, that's just the way I could explain it. So you got here the perfect balance between the citrusy, high note sweetness from the Virginias, the bit nutty, the breadiness, with that uh, delicious perique, with that spicy, peppery a bit, and that uh, very rich sort of stone fruit, like nearly like dried fruit um, sweetness to it. Well, this is a good vapor, Virginia and Perique. Oh yeah. Room note is very nice. It's not a aromatic room note, but you smell the the rich flavors of the tobacco in the smoke um, in the room. It's it's a very nice tobacco-y smell. Very smooth, no harshness at all, no tongue bite. Yeah, at all not. Just a lovely blend. It's a shame you can't get a hold of it here. Real shame. Because as soon as I smoke these, it's gone. Yeah. I need to smoke this blend uh, in my garden oh, just to just enjoy these flavors without talking about it like I'm doing now in the video just to just fully immerse myself in this blend and try and pick up every single nuance of this of the variety because they've used very high grade Virginia's and this Perique apparently is one of the rarest in the world, it says here.
that rich undertone from the Perique is, wow. Well, the smell of the jar uh, will give you straight away the hints of the complexity of this blend. Oh, the smell is unreal. That dried fruit, that, like apricots, we can't taste the apricots in the smoke, but it's that dried fruit with the spicy, red and earthy, and a lingering sweet, Virginia, the bright leaf, and the the way the leaf it just looks so appetizing. Um, yeah, and when you smoke it, you taste all that goodness uh, within the smoke. But it'll take you a moment to constantly. You need to concentrate to separate um, those various notes you're getting from your tobacco. Oh, I just got like that again, that fruity blast. It's sort of random. And that um, sort of rich um, undertone of dried fruitiness from that perique. Yeah, really nice. Well, I'm going to um, finish my bowl um, now and um, I'm looking very much forward to try this on my own, uh, with company of course, I'm not doing that on my own, I'm saying just to um, concentrate more on this blend because I am sure they'll come up with some more nuances that I haven't spoken here. Um, I would love to hear your feedback if you if you ever s smoke this blend um, yeah do let me know in the comments what do you think Cornell and Deal in my opinion is they use very high grade quality um, leaf or well, the small batches um, they go the extra mile to create something that is so complex and so interesting to explore that is definitely worth getting hold of but I, I don't know if it's, it's very difficult in the UK to get hold of it's a real shame real shame what can you do anyway I'm happy I've got my few tins and I'm gonna smoke these very rarely on special occasions all these small bats I've got a few more um, because as soon as they're gone they're gone so I'm gonna smoke them special occasions and yeah and in the jar they'll also mature very nicely yeah so I don't have to rush with this it would last me for a while okay um, yeah so this was my review of today uh, the small batch by Conan and Deal Carolina Red Flake a delicious vapor really really nice okay so um this was for today until the next time take care and uh, have a good day good week or weekend whenever you're gonna watch this i'm not sure until the next time bye bye for now